circulating tumor DNA is a new promising biomarker. The study was done to evaluate hepatic, means liver, tumor-informed assessment of circulating tumor DNA and its incorporation into practice for patients with hepatobiliary cancers. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Dr. Ludmila Schaefer. I'm a board-certified physician specializing in cancers. My goal is to level the playing field of knowledge around cancer prevention, treatment, research, and wellness, so you can make informed decisions and bravely build your better future. I'm here to give you the best transformative education from body, mind, to latest health information and supercharge your health to live your best life every day. The study was done to evaluate hepatocellular carcinoma and biliary tract cancers, including cholangiocarcinoma and black gallbladder cancers. These tumors represent heterogeneous group of diseases. Tumor marker AFP is a glycoprotein-based tumor marker and CA19 carbohydrate antigen 19-9, though is a part of standard of care, but it does lack sensitivity and specificity. A fair proportion of these cancers don't produce glycoproteins. Circulating tumor DNA testing can be used for assessment of molecular residual disease, MRD, as well as surveillance. It proposed for patients with hepatocellular carcinoma and biliary tract cancers. Prospective evaluation of this methodology in clinical practice have been limited up to date. A personalized and tumor-informed multiplex PCR assay was used to detect quantification of ctDNA. Serial time points were collected on a subset patients to monitor their circulating tumor DNA level in response to treatment. In this study, we analyzed 276 plasma samples from a total 113 patients with cholangiocarcinoma, 62 with hepatocellular carcinoma, 30, and gallbladder cancer, 21. Sample level ctDNA positivity rate and determined using a tumor-informed DNA, and it's uh, presented for your review. ctDNA detection was significantly associated with a stage of disease. Serial time point analysis was performed on a subset of patients. The subset of patients that had two to eight times point available and correlation. Our study is the first to set the benchmark for the utility and feasibility of using a tumor-informed assay in this cohort of hepatobiliary cancers. With adjuvant chemotherapy, it's already standard of care for biliary tract cancers and immunotherapy being studied for hepatocellular carcinoma alongside with other novel agents for cholangiocarcinoma and gallbladder cancer. Assessment of minimum residual disease of circulating tumor DNA clearance on therapy would be of value, and it's an additional tool of identifying patients who is at high risk for recurrence of metastatic disease. The utility of this study would also lie in incorporation in clinical trials to enrich and study those who are at the high risk for recurrence. If you would like more information, please comment below, and thank you very much for joining me on this channel. If you haven't subscribed and commented below, please do so. When you click the subscribe button, ask your question so I can tailor my next video to your interest, and when you do that, don't forget to click the notification bell so you can stay up to date. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.